got all these pears this year and uh, we've been canning them and we don't want to put extra sugar in the canning so we're going to try canning it with the juice so we're going to make some pear cider i dug out my cider press today and washed it all up got it all cleaned up ready to go this has been my family for i don't know how long and i inherited it so i probably the one to make the most use out of it too so i love making apple cider and stuff so start out by just throwing some pears in there Some of them start to go bad already. I cut that off. Uh, what I normally do on this is I got I get those uh, paint uh, strainers, the big bags, and I line the bucket with that. But I don't have one and. Hairs are off of bad. Go soft and push out. Okay, my lovely wife's helped me film today, so uh, she can come over here and show you how these grind up in here. These little choppers in here just chop it up chop the apples up to where when you squish them the juice comes out well in this case pears and get a crank show them this side of it i don't know what make this is but it's uh patented in oh i can't see i forgot Oh. It says standard medium. Yeah, on this side, this is patented in November 29th, 1921. So that was three years before my dad was born. That's almost 100 years old. Okay. We'll finish up here. Got all three dudes. Get the junk out of them. juicy start to get that kind of a wine smell to it vinegar kind of cannons love this stuff That's where we dump all of our banana peels and scraps sometimes. You see how tall my can is getting. Okay, you shut down. Okay, I think that's about full. So, I'm going to switch this. so you can keep it going uh, this thing come apart but always you gotta always make sure you you got these long ways otherwise it'll dam up the juice and 
it won't come out. And this thing's old. I'm going to have to rework everything on this thing eventually. But we'll set this up here for now. And we'll just grab this and slide it down. If you got two people, it works a lot quicker. Okay, line it up. for the next batch but we're ready to squeeze this batch I'm gonna get a shot of this pulp it just pulps it up to where you can squeeze it we put this in I got a piece missing on the bottom of this thing here so I hope I got enough to do it Okay, huh. Give me juice Pear juice isn't quite as good as apple juice. And here's my stick that I used to squeeze it, but I don't quite need it yet. Let's see, I'm going to get a bunch of pulp in this, so we'll have to take it in and restrain it. I got a wasp in there, too. They like to get in. It's pretty common. You just got to strain them out. Okay, I'll just let that sit. And Slow for a little bit. If I do it too much, I'll just squish it all out and won't get nothing. So. Apples are different. Apples hang together better than pears. So when you do apples, the, you don't really need the bags as much. Although I like to use, you know, the paint bag strainers to strain paint. It's real fine mesh and it holds everything in. You don't get much pulp in there. But and pear juice isn't quite as good as apple juice. But it's good. I like it. It's, it's milder. It don't have the bite like apple juice has got. I'm not going to get the yield out of this thing like if I had a paint strainer too. I'm just getting too much pulp in here and then the pulp absorbs all the juice. But we can strain it. Most of this we're going to use for canning, for the canning juice. Instead of adding so much sugar to it, it'll have the canning juice. So you can show them how much we got so far out of one one bucket. I got I took this out because I thought maybe it might fill that one up. So this is just this is a lot cleaner. This is what I got from just chopping them up and that just naturally come out. But this is what I got from squeezing. And I'll probably sit here for hours and drip, so may dump, dump it all in the pan and put something under it for a while. Maybe put a towel over it to keep things out. Okay, well, I guess that's about it, YouTube. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you we'll be back pretty soon for another exciting video. Stay tuned.